Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie. Fiawe. Today we're going to give an update on Sule Ali Montari. We're also going to give an update on Thomas Ter Party, the story that the son published about him, calling and saying now he's from a poverty-stricken uh, existence in Ghana. Yes, uh, that was the uh, the catchy headline they were looking to use to draw readers. Uh, that got a lot of people peeved. Uh, there were so many talks on social media, and uh, we all know the power of social media and what it can do and uh, we saw it in effect once again the son had been forced to apologize after a reporter from joy fm contacted them personally uh, to retract uh, that uh, message and to apologize publicly and uh, we're going to look at that as well as sule montari's high demand he's demanding a lot of money before he moves to any of the psl clubs remember he stated that his dream move was to join a PSL club and uh, most specifically Kaiser Chiefs and uh, most of the clubs in there who are trying to at least uh, get his attention are being faced uh, by the high salary demands uh, the Ghanaian is offering or is demanding we'll look at all that today as usual subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so before I begin today's story just like to say that the police brutality is happening in the in Nigeria are something which is quite quite unfortunate it's, it's really really a barbaric to say the least and it's attack on the youth and it, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever we are standing in solidarity with anyone who is in Nigeria who is a Nigerian stays in Nigeria and is going through this the SARS that is happening there must end and now two viruses killing Nigerians one is coronavirus and now it's SARS it's quite unfortunate it's quite unfortunate situation there happening in Nigeria all my life throughout my time in the university my closest friends were all Nigerians so I really really feel for any Nigerian youth that is going through this it's really unfortunate hopefully it comes to an end let's just end it so I moved my story for today and it's about Sule Ali Montari. Last week I brought you an update. Uh, Sule Montari had an offer from Maritzburg. He turned it down. And now PSL clubs, uh, which is the Premier Soccer League in South Africa, uh, where Sule Montari has said he wants to join uh, in the near future, are really being blocked, uh, sort of, because of the high demands, high salary demands of uh, the Ghanaian. And now the Ghanaian midfielder is in the twilight of his career his last team he played for was in albacete balompier in spain and he played there for i think close to six months it wasn't a frequent starter uh, though for them in 2019 and has been training uh, with the betty professional since then now it says here that the high salary demands is making that dream move to premier soccer league uh, football in south africa very difficult for him now according to reports in south africa now the former inter milan and ac milan star is demanding 50 million rands uh, which is approximately a million dollars uh, leaving clubs in the psl unwilling to meet his demand now montari has no hitting his desire to play for in the south african league and uh, he is prompting cape town city and kaiser chiefs to make a move for his signature uh, they've prompted now but according to south african sports portal soccer la duma and uh, montari's hopes of landing a psl move uh, could be hugely affected by his salary demands and there's a problem regarding montari's proposal psl proposed psl move the players demands are too high for the local market a source said uh, the guy is demanding a 15 million rands per annum that's one million dollars almost per annum uh, the clubs uh, that his representatives have spoken to so far in the PSL have pulled out because of the player's salary demands, the source added. Uh, now, the 35-year-old last played for Spanish side of Sete Palompia. Now, there is a, ten, a thin line uh, between correctly estimating your worth and overestimating your worth. I think Sule Montari 
is kind of overestimating his worth currently if it was a couple of years ago let's say five six years ago yes he could have demanded this about it this current uh, climate especially because of the effects of covid and also looking at where he is in his career not played for any club since i've been set in 2019 i have to say he is not in this the the, the, the position to be demanding such high wages uh, in my opinion and you can disagree with me uh, but uh, Sule Montari is not the player we know him to be or we knew him to be in 2010 2011 2012 he's still not that player not to say he can't add anything of quality to any team he definitely can uh, but when a club is going in for a player they assess what he can contribute in the immediate term and also if he can go any further with them and looking at his age at 35 years uh, clubs who want to maybe play for two years maximum one and a half years he can play for them but will he be peak Sule Montari? that's one thing they also consider and I feel that is why he might not make a move to anywhere whatsoever if these are his wage demands he might not make a move do you think the wage demands are okay are you okay with the wage demands that you agree with Sule Montari demanding so much for this move let me know what you think in the comments box my final story has to do with another Ghanaian player in Thomas Tech party now Thomas party and uh, we all know has made that amazing move uh, to Arsenal after making that move uh, there were so many media outlets reporting uh, the move uh, excited uh, by the news but there was this one particular publication uh, by the Sun football who had already talked about another Ghanaian man in the person of Asamoajan being broke and a lot of Ghanaians lambasting with them at uh, this time they went in uh, for Thomas Te Party saying he has come out from his poverty stricken existence in Ghana. And now the Sun newspaper following that report got lambasted by a lot of Ghanaians as you'd expect on social media. And now uh, they have been forced to apologize. Uh, the UK based media giant has been forced to apologize using in temperate language in an African story about Arsenal's latest signing Thomas Party. The one story that became the most talked about after that amazing move was the Sun's new story which described the Ghanaian international as coming from a poverty-stricken existence. Many Ghanaians saw the Sun's story were not enthused about it as they described the media entity as being racially biased in their reportage even before the footballer had played his first game for the London side. Now Chifa Beho Bampo, a former joint news editor, uh, took the step uh, to writing to the sports editor of the Sun to correct the story and apologize uh, possibly for the unprofessional conduct. This is what she said. I was offended because we must acknowledge people who have pulled themselves up to become something. By describing him and his hometown in that manner, uh, we denigrate him and his hometown and the larger population of Ghanaians, she said. I was very unhappy about it and I was actually incensed. I felt like if I didn't write anything, I would just be shouting on social media to no end. So I lodged a complaint uh, to see whether uh, there will be any difference. I'm glad that in the end they appreciated that there was no need uh, for more nuanced description of Patty and his hometown. Uh, this is what the apology said. Firstly, uh, let me apologize for our article on Thomas Party uh, caused offense and or upset. I'm deeply disappointed uh, that the clumsy language has overshadowed what was meant to be a positive story about Thomas Party's incredible rise. I've personally amended the article following your complaint and we will endeavor to not repeat the mistakes in the future, Alex Peak, a digital sports editor, wrote. Furthermore, I have spoken to my team to highlight the points you have made. I hope you accept our sincere apologies. Thank you, The Sun. As we reported it when we didn't like it, it's also good to report it when they correct themselves and they have done just that. Just don't repeat this again and we are good to go. So that has been it for today. Thomas Part article written by The Sun has been retracted. They have apologized for that thing they did calling him or his hometown poverty stricken existence in Ghana. Many people, others didn't have an issue with that, uh, but some most 
had an issue with that and sought to get the right information out there. Also, Suleiman Taris demands approving too much for PSL clubs uh, to meet. Uh, they said he's asking for too much money uh, to join their clubs. Let me know what you think in the comments box on all this. All the Nigerians, my Nigerian brothers and sisters, we are all with you. SARS must come to an end. Police brutality is a no no. The world must be in solidarity with Nigeria on this one. Enjoy your day. Have a great week.